So now let's discuss about force law for simple harmonic motion. Now the equations are pretty simple. The force with respect to a time t is given as mass into acceleration that we know. Force is mass into acceleration. Okay. Now in our previous equations we had x t equals to a cos of omega t for a motion in simple harmonic motion. This is how we had expressed it. Therefore, dy by dt was a omega minus sin omega t. Therefore, d square y by dt square, this is double differentiating. This is velocity and this becomes acceleration. This is velocity and this becomes acceleration. So, this becomes minus a omega square cos omega t. So, this was my equation. Now, minus omega square a cos omega t. a cos omega t can be replaced by this. Therefore, acceleration a is equal to minus omega square into xt. So, this particular value is replaced over here. So, this is what acceleration is all about. Now, if I put the value of acceleration to my this equation, say name this equation 1. So, putting the value of acceleration in equation 1, I have f of t is actually equal to minus m omega square x of t. Now, if you compare, now if you compare, say suppose we had compared, say with the respect to string, you are putting a force that is then, if you are compressing, then a restoring force develops, that is F. And that F is equals to minus the spring constant or the material constant, the stiffness of the material into the displacement X. We know this displacement is of simple harmonic motion where x is proportional to f where f is proportional to x force is proportional to the displacement then this is a simple harmonic motion so putting this value again say suppose f of t is actually equal to minus k of x t k of x t so this is also true this is also true let this be equation a and this be equation b so comparing equation and equation b what you have is minus m omega square x of t is equal to minus k of x of t so x of t and x of t can be cancelled minus minus is cancelled all you have is omega square equals to k by m therefore angular frequency or angular velocity whatever may come is root over of k by m this is root over of k by m similarly k equals to omega square into m that is stiffness of the material so all these things can be easily verified or easily produced by using the force law this is the this is how we have defined omega or angular frequency of a particular shf 